All right, y'all, what's up? It's Nick here. Shut my hat like this. Took my hat off. It's been a minute since I shot a video regarding the 350Z, but update. So I was gonna bring the 350Z out to Mexico, but I think it's not that much of a good idea anymore. Only because of like the main thing is the cost. So because of Corona, the prices have like doubled and tripled for some of these costs out here. So to get my car to come out here, it's like now $2,000. And then to get the car back to the United States, it's like another $2,000, so it's like 4K. So I can literally buy another shell of a 350Z or even with the engine in it, technically running a little bit for 3,000 and then I could just drive it over here, which has been cheaper. And I want to have another 350Z versus paying 4,000 and not having, and just on, that's only travel fee. So we're not doing that anymore. All right, so as far as the battery box goes for the 350Z, I've been ordering a lot of parts. I've got parts coming in from like different companies for how I'm gonna do the battery box. Um, that's pretty much my last few things that I really gotta do on the 350Z that's kind of important. Like I'm not really running a battery box right now, which is fine, but it's not really safe considering like, you know, it's just not safe at all. But uh, it can get the job done, so that's what we're doing. But this video is basically gonna be on a app for your phone, so, I got some ideas. I want this app is called Dribble. Dribble is basically a website where you can look at designs of anything. And basically someone has, I was looking up like car info apps designs because I see just like stuff like this. But I'm gonna take a screenshot of what I, a few that I like. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do a mock-up design first for the 350Z. So my face is like a bottom screen. I'm gonna do a mock-up first for the uh, 350Z. And then uh, when I see what features I want from like the ideas I'm getting from this. And this is all the cool ones that I found. So this, 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 and this. All right, cool. And these are the designs, like some of the, this is an example of the, of the designs that I like. And I'm gonna play around and see what I, easy for me to code, what's cool to work with and go from there. I literally have an actual um, Photoshop app up here. This is exactly the exact same um, app that I did use when I was making the um, thumbnail designs for what you see on, like this is an example of a thumbnail design from my last video. Example of how I gotta have it mocked up. So we're gonna have the car image in the middle. We're gonna have the PSI and the tip of the tire. I kind of got this idea from um, first. I got the idea from Dribble from this application. Uh, it's like they were using it for a Porsche uh, take on. And um, like I said, it's not a real app or anything. It's just something someone drew up. I don't know if they didn't Photoshop or what but they just did it. So I'm just like picking up their ideas, some other ideas I have from like the few that I showed earlier. Yeah. And down here, we're going to have the better percentage, the range and the charge status. At first I was going to do non, like not charging, charging and balancing, but I realized when it's charging, it's already balancing. So we're just going to keep not charging or charging. And then right here at the very top, we have a location. And when we click on the actual location thing so it's gonna say whatever 350z like you can name the car whatever you want so i'm gonna name it like my 350z or just say 350z when i click on the option to like locate car it's going to take me to google maps and i'll be able to see the car All right, so now it's coding time. Um, since I do not have my Mac with me, I'm actually gonna use this phone that I got in uh, Thailand. So basically, um, we're gonna code it on the Android app for now, and then later on, um, when I get time and pick up another Mac, I think I might pick up a Mac in like another two or three weeks from now. I really wanna pick up one now, but I wanna get that 2020, you know what I mean? That 2020, that good stuff. But basically, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and code this up for the Android app, and then I can port it over to my iPhone later. All right, so basically I'm done making the app, and this is basically what it looks like. So while I'm talking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and um, look at it from actually the iPad because I have my different screenshots here from the phone, and we'll talk about it. Um, no, wait, my bad, my bad. I don't know what's up. 
All right, starting from the first one, this is the one with the charge status region disabled at the bottom. Um, basically, what this means is the car is on, and in my case, I'm using DC motors, and with DC motors and the type of controller that I have, you technically, you can regen, but there's like problems if you do regen and you do it incorrectly. So usually no one does regen with DC motors. There's people out there who have done it, but the benefits that you get from it is not really worth the risk that you're taking. And the range is pretty much self-explanatory. This is your better percentage. The range is how many miles you have left. Uh, when it comes down or goes up to the top, it says Nick, Nick's 350Z. Basically, I'm gonna, I, I think I'm gonna either do a website or maybe another part of the application where you can register more cars. And then the PSI and the temperature is actually the PSI and temperature of the tires for the people who do care. A lot of people don't care about that. They just put air in it and keep checking whenever. And then the lock icon is actually, it's only gonna be so far. The lock icon is only gonna be for the driver's door. Might add one later for the passenger door, but I'm thinking about just either doing one click or unlock one door. Uh, click again to unlock both doors. Click another time to lock all doors again. And then just have that. And um, as far as that icon at the very top, that icon right there is for locating the car. So if you click on that icon, it's basically gonna bring up an option to uh, locate your car in um, like on like Google Maps or Apple Maps, whichever um, application you use. Regen, the difference between the region disabled and the not charged and disconnected is basically not charged and disconnected means that the car is completely off, which means that uh, the basically if you stick the key in the car and you have it on accessory or actually start, that is in the off position. So if that's an off position, then the car will register the status as not charged and disconnected because it's also registering that there's no um, charge port open or um, like charger in the charge port. So that's it for that one. Then we have the not charged and connected. So this is the exact same car is off, not an accessory. Like, oh, we might allow accessory. I'm, I'm still thinking about that. I might allow accessory charging for that one. Uh, as long as it's not in the start position because we just want to prevent, you know, driving off in case, you know, that one day you do forget and get that call. You're like, oh, I'll be there right now. And you drive off and next, you know, you're one of those people pulling out the uh, gas station pumps. <laughs> except you're doing it with electricity and, you know, the cost is going to be a lot higher considering, you know, there's not that many. This is still considered a luxury item. So uh, the charge status, we'll say not charging, connected, but we'll give the option to start charging. So this is good for if you just uh, take your car, uh, just put your, put your car in the garage. And let's say you don't want to charge it right away for some reason. I don't know why. Um, as far as stop charging goes, it's like I said, you can stop the car from charging and then go back to the screen, start it again, stop it, do whatever you want. So this right here is pretty cool. And um, pretty much I'm going to set up the database maybe uh, two or three days from now for this. So then we can actually play around like with some data sets and, you know, change the data in the database and see what happens. And if y'all like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, if you're doing an electric 350Z build, hit me up. We're trying to make a, a video once we get all our cars done. So I know right now there's like three three 350Zs that are being converted to electric right now. One is mine, the other one is by Throttle, and the other one is by some of the guy I keep seeing posting on uh, Facebook. But a lot of people say they're gonna do a Tesla swap, but no one ever started, but I saw the guy on Facebook. He started one, it looks like hella good. I only something like that outside from what I've seen so far with the wide body. Like everybody's on wide body 350s and I'm over here like, ooh, I can't spend that right now. So I gotta finish up the uh, a little bit of other stuff and I'm also starting a new project, which you will see soon. The next project's actually gonna be pretty cool. So, or kind of cool, we'll see what it is. So, yep.